In the last video, we draw the shear diagram for this overhang beam. Today, we're going to draw the moment diagram. Hey guys, my name is Kenza and with my online courses, I've helped hundreds of students just like you pass the FE exam. So this is the beam and what we need to do is determine the moment diagram. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you guys a hint on how to tackle this problem. Then you're going to pause the video, attempt the problem, then come back and then we'll solve it together. To determine the moment diagram, the first thing we need is the shear diagram. Once we determine the shear diagram, then we can take the area under the shear and that will give us the moment diagram. Now we already determined the shear diagram in the previous video and if you guys haven't watched that video yet, I will leave the link above there. If we take a look at the shear diagram, note guys how this line here crosses zero, right? And if you're trying to take the area under this diagram, you're going to need to find this distance here. So this is the part that might be tricky when it comes to solving this problem. So what I need you guys to do is give it a try. And when we solve the problem, I'm going to give you guys a very simple way to determine this distance. So that way you can easily find that area under the diagram so that you can determine the moment. So why don't you guys give it a try and I will see you in a little bit. If you guys want a copy of this problem that shows all the steps that we did from finding the reactions to calculating the shear and the moment and drawing the shear and the moment diagram, also covering all the important concepts, go ahead and sign up at this link and we will send you a copy to your email so that way you don't miss any important steps or any concepts that we discussed. So as we discussed earlier, to find the moment, what we're going to do is take the area under the shear diagram. So let's do that. So we're going to start with this area here. So this is a rectangle. The area is just going to be the length times the width. So we're going to have M1 is equal to minus 10, which is the length. And then the width is just going to be this distance here, which is 3 meters. And this is going to give us minus 30. Now let's draw M1. So we're going to start at zero because remember guys, when we are drawing the shear and the moment diagram, we always start at zero and we have to end at zero. Our diagrams have to close. If they don't close, that means we did something wrong. Okay. Keep that in mind. So now we're going to have a linear because when we have a constant in the shear diagram for the moment, we're going to have a line. Or linear so from 0 to the 3 meter distance we're gonna have this line and it's gonna be minus 30 okay and keep in mind the negative sign so always keep track of your negative sign or positive now let's find m2 so m2 is going to be the previous area which is minus 30 plus this area here here we have a triangle so the area of a triangle which is going to be 1 half times b times h. Now we have the height, which is 23, but we don't have the base. We don't have this distance here. Let's call it x. So I'm going to share with you guys a very simple way to determine this x and make sure that you add it to your notes and remember it for your FE. We're also going to have it in the handout, so make sure that you guys sign up and you get all the steps to your email. So to determine this x, what we usually do is we take this force here or this shear this is a shear right so it's going to be 23 kilonewtons and then we're going to divide it by the distributed load which is six kilonewtons per meter okay so it's shear over the distributed load if you guys plug in these numbers you're going to get 3.83 meters so this distance here it's 3.83 now we can find m2 so we're going to do plus here one half and then the base which is x is going to be 3.83 meters multiply it by the height which is 23 and if you guys plug in these numbers you're going to get 14.045 now let's draw m2 so when we have a linear for shear for moments that's going to be second degree or parabola and at this point here we found that m2 is 14.045 right 
So we're going to have something that looks like this. Okay, so this is more like a parabola shape. And the last thing we're going to do here is find the moment M3. So we're going to have 14. So make sure that you guys always add the previous moment. And then we're going to do plus, And then it's going to be the area of this triangle here. Okay. So again, the area is going to be one half B times H. So I'm going to have plus one half. The height is minus 13. Don't forget to include the negative. And then we're going to multiply it by the base. Now this distance here, it is going to be six meters minus X, which is 3.83. And if you guys do that, you're going to get 2.167 for this distance. Okay. So that's what we're going to put here. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get zero, which is good because that means our moment is going to close. And remember, always your moment diagram has to close. So now we're going to finish the other half of the parabola. So we're going to go from 14 and then just all the way here and then close it at this point here. Now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be C. There's one more thing I would like to do before we end this problem is to see if we can determine the moment diagram just by looking at the beam and the shear diagram and use some of the concepts that we discussed throughout the problem. So let's do it together. Now let's start with the shear. So if we take a look at the shear here, this area is negative, right? It's below the zero. So we know that the moment when we're going to start, it's going to be in the negative side. So A can be the answer because it starts at the positive side. Another thing to note is that here at the shear, we have a constant, which means the moment we're going to have a linear. Okay. So C has a linear. D doesn't have a linear. It goes constant. So D can't be the answer. And then for B, there's a jump here, a jump down. We can't have a jump down because we don't really have a moment in the load beam. So we can only have a jump down or up in our moment diagram if we have a moment in the load beam. If we don't have a moment, we can't have a jump down or up. Okay, so make sure that you guys take note of that. So B can be the answer either. So our only option is going to be C. And then also, because here we have a linear, here we must have a parabola. Okay, so these are just a couple points to keep in mind so that you can solve these kind of problems really fast during your exam. If you guys learned a lot from this video, then check out our courses that cover the exact material you need to pass your FE exam. Also, next month, we're going to cover more problems like this. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future great problem videos. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh, yeah. Everybody now.